Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are here back today with Nyambura Zoo with this fossa climbing over <laughs> a little bit weirdly, but climbing over the climbing frames. And we added in this pretty cool, if I may say so myself, outdoor habitat. Look at how cool it works. But before we continue, I would love to thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. Especially for those who missed out on the Steam sale, because at Instant Gaming, it's always sale as you can buy Planet Zoo and all its packs with a really great discount. And next to that, you can also buy games like The Sims, City Skylines, Jurassic World Evolution, Prehistoric Kingdom, Farming Simulator, and many other awesome games with a really great discount as well. And by buying via their website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. I will make sure to put a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. So every time when I put a fossa on this rock in particular, it will always, for some reason, I don't know why, jump onto one of these branches and then walk all the way to here and jump off to here. While they are actually able to use this, so it's it it just prefers climbing, I guess. So I guess that's definitely props to Frontier for changing something like that into the game. But we can still like maybe make sure to make it look a little bit more realistic if you would turn off a few of these branches right over here, or like these vines. But for now, I uh, I think I'm just going to keep it like this. And uh, wait, did I? Oh no, I thought I heard like a being born message or anything like that we have a facility oh shoo these facilities actually don't work there are no electricity do we have we have a water pipe right over here so we don't have any natural water or something like that right over here now which is fine um let's see water treatment transformer how much money do we have? We actually don't have that much money. Well, how much power? Gosh, it's just right on the edge. But I don't really think that I can move this one. So yeah, maybe just somewhere over here. Uh, maybe a little bit further away. So we can connect it. Like, we probably are able to hide this into the building at some point. So I think it's not a bad idea to just add one right over here. Let's see. Something like that. How is the negative impact? The negative impact is this one. Is that seriously like this little edge right over here? Well, maybe we can just move it a little tad further away then. Like that. Now this should not cause any stupid messages of like interfering the negative impact man i'm just so happy with this i can't wait to see this whole building being finished which might take some time because we're not going to rush it i just want to enjoy this as much as we can oh look at this we're actually using my little cave oh we could add a webcam in here i think that that's fun did I add the webcam? Oh gosh, there are still too many, many stuff in here, even though I did make them my favorites. Oh, it's a habitat. That's why I have that webcam. That's why I couldn't find it at the W. <laughs> okay, we can just add one, something like that. And now if we enter the camera view, yeah, people would love to see that. So the Fossa webcam, and it's also going to help with our marketing rating. I'm not sure like how our rating is doing right now. Uh, zoo reputation is not even three stars. Conservation. Oh, yes. We should add like conservation signs on the inside right over here. Guess education rating could go better. Marketing could go better. But yeah, we're just getting started. So the guest happiness rating is really good. I don't think we have ever had it to be this good. Uh, ticket prizes. I was just thinking that we did not really change the ticket prizes for a while. The zoo ticket price is great. Okay, I think I'm just... Because we added the fossa, maybe even 11, something like that could work. So we can click you. 
Oh, you already had a ticket? Okay, wait, you guys. We can check you. The zoo ticket price is good. I take it. Three dollars extra is going to help. But I do think that these shops are definitely also helping with the guest happiness. Like, we have tons of shops. I, I do hope that they're going to earn us a little bit more money than they're doing right now. Did I actually add? Oh, I did. Um, I have not seen any complaints about this, so maybe just make this a little bit more expensive. Uh, just a momento. Did I change that? Yeah, I think I put an extra dollar onto everything right over here. And how about we have umbrellas? Did I add this to 620? Not entirely sure if I did. How about I make this a 7? Is that going to work? I find this super weird. Uh, how much does an adoption pack cost right over here? Expensive is 51. So, <laughs> so this adoption pack is cheaper than that one. Doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, make this uh, 52, 27, 12. Okay, that's 12, 27, 52. So... Okay, wait, here, 12, 27 was it? And 52. Okay, but at least, ooh, at least they are now the same price. So I'm curious if the people will complain about the umbrella price. That is going to be fun. Oh, look, our bottleneck is pretty much gone right now. Oh, that really did fix itself. Now, this is the only weird corner right over here but I guess the guests cannot really uh, walk in between here yeah you see I did add like barriers or curves underneath here so they're only able to walk through here or through here but yeah this is the only area that I'm like uh, should we change that or just remove like the the paintings or whatsoever not sure I just really do like how this is all looking uh, these guys are also synchronized, right? Uh, these... Can we... Like, can we see? The guest happiness, they're super happy. Never taking this hat off. Maybe just... I don't know, 1350? Is that like... Can we copy this and then just... Yes, paste it right over there. Okay, well, it's a little bit more expensive. Our money is going up a little bit more. Like, we need the money. Did we actually add donation boxes? Did I hide them away because I don't... Oh yes, there's one over here. I, I did hide them away so well that I actually forgot if I did put them down. There's probably one over here as well, yes. You can barely see it, but that's good because I just don't like it. And sometimes people still ask me like, why do you hide them? Well, one, they're big and ugly and two, I just don't know any zoo that has donation boxes. Like, I do understand that for a game like this, that the, it's important to earn money, and this is, like, a way to earn that. But I just wish it was, like, an uh, like an invisible box or something. Or maybe, like, a little box that you can put onto the wall or something that you can hide away pretty well. I think that is something that I would love a lot more. So, our FOSA is doing well. They are pretty difficult to reproduce, if I remember correctly, from the previous episode. They're only having a 20%. Wait, of course, we need to do the research. Okay, the caracal is done. Perfect, Kimberly. You are the best. We actually don't... Well, we have offspring of the aardvark, so I'm not too worried about that. Do we want to um, train? We have three habitats and we have four keepers i feel like i probably hired one extra which we don't really need artifact fossa caracal we have one mechanic one security guard we have three caretakers i think that is fine if we look at our gas it's just really small I didn't come here to see staff facilities. Where is that? Is that right over here? Is there a negative impact? Which I 
Oh yes, of course. Oh, people from the toilets are complaining about staff facilities because other than that, there is nothing to complain about. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not definitely not going to bother to change that. At oh oh oh, it's raining. It's raining. Wait, are people going inside? These people already have an umbrella. What was this? An information stand, right? So there's not a different spot where people can buy umbrellas, do they? This doesn't look like it. No. Okay, but it, are people like not buying an umbrella now because it's too expensive? It could definitely be that that is the reason why no one is buying umbrellas here. This one is connected, isn't it? Did we get... Unhappy customer one. You did get a customer at least, but are these people so? Wait, maybe there's just too many information stands. We don't have an information stand right over here, though. Wait, how many information stands? Oh, wait, here's one. And you are synchronized, aren't you? Yes, so seven bucks. You have. What did just happen with these guests? <laughs> they just disappeared. Everything at Information Center counter is too expensive for me. I don't have enough money to visit Information Center. Ah, uh, shoo. Okay, well, this uh, clears it up. Um, we should lower the prices. It's not going to work. Okay, we're, we're going to make this a 51. And the umbrellas? No one did buy umbrellas. We had rain and no one bought them. Oh, that's a pity. Okay, we did synchronize these, so now it's uh, we're gonna just change back the adoption packs. Eleven twenty six fifty one. Weren't that like the original prizes? I actually don't know. Eleven twenty six fifty one. I hope. Okay, these people are now here buying stuff again. So it was indeed too expensive. Where can I get an umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> Time to have home these facility builders are ruining my experience. Gosh, don't be so dramatic. Like seriously, <laughs> I think it's fine. Okay, uh, I want to see if we can do some training here. Um, we might want like our money is going up. It's going to help to have like a better there that the staff is doing a better job at, at their job, <laughs> doing their job better. Um, no, I don't want to fire. I just want to... Oh, gosh, why? Okay, we can... Okay, you're gone now. And how much does it cost to train you guys? But they are also all want to have a better salary, right? Do we want to train them? It's going to help, for sure, with the experience. Okay, I'm going to do it. Maybe I will regret, but we're going to wait and see. Oh, shoo! It was the exhibit keeper! <gasps> oh, of course. We just need to make you a work roster in here. Oh, silly me. Okay, I'm um, going to select these. No, it's only these four. Wait, 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 wait. I, I don't want this one to be in here. So only four exhibits, right? We actually also need to work on the exhibits, but <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this building now. But it's going to be fine. Okay, we're going to change the name to exi just exhibits, right? Yeah, exhibits. So that there's that. And now, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. And you are going to work in the exhibits habitat. Now, we did have an information stand without a worker here, but that is already fixed. So I think we do have enough workers at this point. So the only thing that we need to do is like train the exhibit um, worker, the keeper right over here. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Without further talking, I really want to finish. Look at this. It's so cool. I really want to finish this habitat right over here and start the inside of this habitat. The jump is a little bit off, but it's using it, so I'm not going to complain. It looks pretty cool to me. 
So yeah, without further talking, let's go and start working on the inside of this fossa habitat.
sometimes you just need to realize that things take a lot more time than you planned. So I did not do much yet of the Fossa Indoor Habitat. Instead, I actually, I actually started working on this roof. And I was like, you know, if I just make some, some, some template right over here, which I can duplicate, it's going to be so easy to do that. Ha! <laughs> was I wrong? Because this is taking <laughs> like so many hours. It was insane. Especially because of the fact that it will be bended. Like if it will be straight, then surely it would be super easy to do. But I decided to go into like this, this, this half a circle. So that means that all the outside pieces right over here are a lot longer. And you also want to avoid having like these really ugly corners right over here. So, um, oh man, this definitely took a lot of time, but it is so beautiful. I, I can't wait to see this finished. Like, we are going to have some tropical plants here in the middle, some some planters or, or whatnot. So it's going to be a lot more lush and stuff. But uh, yeah, to give you an idea already, like these exhibits are pretty cool. I I actually was a, a little bit disappointed that I made this this wall a pretty low. So that also meant that I wasn't able to put like the exhibits higher i actually had to put it into the ground uh, well i'm not sure if you can see it can i click the exhibit yeah you can see it's like i think like one meter or something into the ground so the floor of the exhibit oh well, you can't even see that because that is in the ground so i had to like create my own exhibit out of it but that was so much fun like the new plants and stuff we, we got and like these uh liana vines etc Man, it looks so cool. So as this is like an African tropics area, I thought, okay, you know, perfect. We are going to add some some African animals here. First, I had like the, I think it was, it was some kind of snake. And dad had like this desert exhibit theme around it. So then I later decided, you know, you, you will not be able to see the animals, like not for real. They are all underneath the ground, pretty much. So this is all more decorational purposes, but yet the guests will still look into these exhibits. So that is really cool. They they really do work as exhibits. So we have the Goliath frog on this side, and uh, these two are just very tropical exhibits. And yeah, well, pretty much made by me. Like I did duplicate it one to the other side, so they are a little bit of the same i actually don't know this one doesn't have bamboo for example but this one does like this is a combination of what i added and what the game adds like things sticking through the ground i guess and i actually did like the rocks here on the side so that's why i did chose for the tropical exhibit in the end and see the guests are just looking at it like it's just a perfect height I really had fun doing this and I just love it that it really does work. And also to make like these walls right over here a little bit more interesting. I did add all these, these liana aka vines on the walls right over here, which we're going to continue along the way right over here. So you have a little bit over here already, but we're going to like drag this all the way through here. Make it all look a little bit more tropical and lush. And then on the middle, as I said, there will be some kind of planter with a lot of tropical plants as well. To make this really a cool Tows of the Tropics or African Tropics. What was the name again? I think this is going to look so cool once it is finished. It's, it's going to take some time. As I said, like this roof did take a lot more time than I thought, but... It's going to be worth it, and I just don't want to rush myself. This is going to be, uh, hopefully, even a better series than the African Mini Zoo series, even though it, it doesn't feel like it still, because there are still like a lot of open spots right over here, and no nothing is really connected. But I do really hope that is going to be the case. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot. We have baby fossas. 
I really wanted to avoid them to grow up. I had to like uh, let the game run for so often. You've probably seen it during the speed build because I was out of money like constantly. I was able to repay this loan or actually like the 10 years were over. So I was able to just repay the loans over time. And uh, so, so that was a good thing. I do hope that this one can be repaid very soon as well because then we don't have to pay interest and our money will flow in a lot faster. Uh, but man, oh, I had some issues. You probably also seen that during the speed build with like fossas escaping. And I think they were just able to jump onto the roof or something like that. But uh, I was able to fix it just by closing off the roof right over here. And obviously the rest will be all closed as well with some nice... Uh, like a glass, uh, gl nice glass windows in the roof as well to bring in some sunlight and stuff and daylight. Oh man, we have a little baby fossa. Oh, two. Oh, there. <laughs> Can we just move you? Just one? Yes, there we go. They're so adorable. I still keep on thinking when I see a fossa, like, how did I not know about this animal? Like, yeah, sure, someone did mention, like, they were in Madagascar, and I've seen that movie, but I never realized there was a fossa in there, and if I look at that fossa, I'm like, that doesn't even look like a real fossa, but I guess that's just a, a, a <laughs> an animation movie thing. But yeah, oh, these little ones, they are so adorable. Oh man, I just love it how much they climb here. But yeah, it doesn't <laughs> still look as well as I want it to be. Does that maybe help if we just select this one and make this non-climbable? Oh gosh, yeah, okay. <laughs> maybe also do it for this one. Maybe we should just do it for a few more. Because like some of these vines are fine to walk over or like I think the beams would be better they would look better at least because I don't know I don't like it for them to stick through the beams walking over the vines so maybe it is a smart thing to just deselect all of these as climbing frames but they are just using everything now and I just absolutely love that and it's like making building habitats for these guys so much fun so on this side, the plan is to, uh, oh yeah, we have like these, these conservation signs on both sides. So these are a little bit integrated into the walls, which is also going to help to attract some more gas like inside of this building. I tried to hide like Vista points, but the path is, is, is too far away from the edge. So not entirely sure. Maybe we are able to hide them inside of these planters or something like that. That could definitely work. So this habitat will be a little bit raised, just like we have with the exhibits right over here. So so this this height, like like this edge, will probably be the height of the habitat. So it will be a little bit raised. We're gonna play around with like rocks and and caves and like walkthroughs with archways, so we can really get different type of areas right over here. So this is going to be a little jungle peek through. And then right over here, we're going to have a different area again. And then maybe over here, we can have like like more of a cave again where they can like really chill and lay down, give birth to babies or something like that. And right over here, this, this particular area is going to be connected. This is going to be a little open backstage. Well, not, not open. <laughs> it will be closed off. So this little piece of land will also be added into the habitat later on with like one gate somewhere over here. Maybe I think somewhere over here will be the opening to this backstage area. So we're going to do like the same as we did right over here. So one side will be for the keeper to walk and then you have like this gate and then you have like this backstage area. So that is something that I have in my mind. It won't be super big. Uh, well, we can play around a little bit with the space that we have maybe right over here. But I don't really think that it's going to be super big. Oh, shoot. I actually totally forgot. 
Do we now have a keeper for exhibits? Yes, but we have two more exhibits right now over here, which are not connected in any work roster. So exhibits entrance, I'm going to call these. And then we're going to add one more keeper in here. However, I actually could have just added this. What, 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 what? <laughs> Why are you walking there? I could have added this into the fossil habitat, but not sure. Maybe we will change that later on. Do we now have the African tropics? Yes, we do. Okay, now find a keeper. Can we find it right over here? I don't think so. Okay, then I need to find it right over here. No work zone. So you are going to be the African tropics right over here. So you don't have to walk super far. Maybe, I'm not sure, like there will be another entrance to this building right over here as well. So maybe we will have two more exhibits on that side. Uh, but I'm not sure about that just yet. Like the exhibits are obviously not really like my highest priority. I, I didn't even plan to add these. What I do need to do is manage the population. So let's quickly check how many one to six. So if we make this a three and this a three and then just manage the population, sell for cash, sell for cash. And then right over here, the Goliath frog, one to two. Okay, so we can just turn this on and then make sure that we're going to sell for cash right over here. Oh, actually, oh yes, we do have a male and a female. So that should all run well. And this is going to bring in a little bit more cash. I mean, that is definitely not a bad thing. And also these babies from the fossa. Oh, they are... <laughs> They are attracting a lot more guests here. We need to add another connection, maybe somewhere over here. So there will be a walkthrough, but yeah, there is just nothing else to do here. So obviously the guests just go there and then walk back again. I actually was thinking, um, no, wait, no. The traversable area, there is a current animal visibility. Did I always overlook that one? I guess I did. I guess I did. Uh, so you can now click a habitat and you can see where the guests can really see the animals, which is right over here now because they are really up close right over here. So it makes total sense. Like now there is no visibility pretty much at all on the outside. So that is why it is super busy right over here. But as soon as the animals move to the indoor area, which I don't really do often because they have all the climbing frames and stuff right over here. But then that will change. So there are two different visibility heat maps, which I didn't realize until now. So that is quite funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's because this one is lower. Well, okay, that we just have to pretend that you're not doing that. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what it is. Like there is glass here, so it is a little bit light blue, but... In my opinion, it should be more darker blue with just some, some simple glass. I did use the uh, one-sided glass. Yes, so they have as much privacy as they can. Yeah, they are pretty shy. So having this with one-sided glass, I think is the perfect way to add these guys indoors right over here. But this is all open because this is going to be a tropical area for the at least the red river hog on this side maybe we can add the red river hog with a different animal in inside of this this particular area as well you have an interspecies bonus with a lot of different animals okay well what would you guys suggest seeing all these animals the buffalo bongo bonobo hippo mandrill an Aledra Okapi, a Pygmy Hippo, Chimpanzee, or Gorilla. If you would have to pick any animal that could go into a habitat here with the Rat River Hog, which would be a little, a little indoor area right over here, a little outdoor section somewhere over here. We are still going to have maybe one or two other tropical African animals here as well. So. I'm just super curious. Do you guys have any suggestion of what are you guys doing here? There is not even a path here, is there? 
Don't tell me there's a path. There is a path? Oh, goodness. I totally forgot to remove that one, I guess. Wait, huh? <gasps> no, 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 no. What did I do? There is no path here, is there? Am I going nuts? Yeah, okay. There is now no path. But I do want to make sure that these guys will not do this again. Oh, they did escape again. Oh, shoo. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to hide this one underneath here just to make sure that whatever is there, they're not going to use that. Why did they escape now? Oh my goodness, are you a little one? Maybe I did not. No, this is the adult. Well, this is going to be fixed as soon as we have a roof over their head. So it <laughs> it's just a bit silly. But yeah, it is what it is. If I just move this one, emergency capture, we have a little bit of money. It is pretty frustrating that it sometimes just happens. Even though, look at all these guests run. <laughs> They're right away going to the exit. Like, hell no. I'm out. I'm out. Good luck with your zoo. <gasps> oh, that's really bad. Oh my goodness, it's so empty here. I don't know what it is, but it feels a little bit different to me. I actually love it that all these guests are running so hard to the accident now. Anyways, <laughs> this video is becoming way too long. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of the start of the indoor area of the African tropics. Leave your animal suggestions with the Red River Hog or maybe other animals for this, this, this African tropics house in the comments down below. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!